cooldown on Forgecraft. <laughs> nice. Let's get some sleep first. Hi, Tinty Tots. How are you doing? Um. Hi, Fairwolf. Hi, Greg. Hi, Ninja and Mimey. Um, I did get some extra time today. A little bit of Forgecraft streaming after the training. I am a little bit exhausted, but I'm getting... It's good to get my head together a little bit. <laughs> so... Let's see what we were doing here, what we were up to. Um, so that one here is working on the Citizen What's Hut next? upgrade. That one is needing a bunch of things. Uh, <laughs> hi Chef, how are you doing? Let's teach the spruce pressure plate first. Let's go with that. <laughs> I do have a lot of potatoes on this one. I do have enough. <laughs> that would be rather rather difficult to get them over here, yeah. Wait. Oh. The level 3 upgrade entered the change the axis a little bit. So the screws pressure plate. Ah, I can't teach that. That's the mechanic ray. Darn it. Okay. I'm going to go to the warehouse and get a bunch of screws blocks. Who's the screws? What Let's can see. I do for you? No, not you. Screws. Um, we don't have a seed yet, unfortunately. Else I would give you a seed. If there was any. <laughs> if there was a seed. Who's... Oh wow, we have a lot of sprues, I see. But if there was any, I would give you. But we don't have any yet. Uh, a seed, yeah, a seed ready yet. Hi, <laughs> Deadwill Haunting. Um, yes, the server is going to start most likely on Saturday. Um, I'm. Ch we're still checking about the exact time we're going to do that. Um, let me dump these here. Oh, someone is okay, hungry. Let's get no. started. Sick. Um, we did release the team matchup today. I'm not sure. Now, Chef is team B, if I'm not mistaken. But I know that Fairwolf and Ninja are on my team. Um, I did make sure to balance the teams nicely. Men gotta do um, what men gotta I do. Spend a lot of time on thinking, on making that happen, because I think that's super important. Um, the last time we made the, the teams, um, the teams I was on was like both colonies were were amazing. Not not going to talk any of the colonies down because all of them were amazing. However, there were some teamwork issues. There were some teamwork issues in in the second team the last time because. Uh, there was no, like, Wizzy was there, but he was not playing actively, so there was no big admin that could kind of weigh in on colony decisions. And then it kind of was unfortunate. Uh, but that, wait, let me copy this here. So that it is at the zero zero position that they are dying. I have to send that quickly. Um, so I tried to make sure this time that we have teams with very compatible um, characters in them, basically. <laughs> um, and I tried also to balance the PvP people nicely over the team. So to, since Team A got me and Sam letters. I put Sean Fall in Team B, 
because he is uh, at least as at least as good as I and Sam Leathers are in PvP. He's probably better than we are, but the only thing we might be a little bit better is with the guards. <laughs> um, gray, welcome Drogan to the stream. Light gray and gray. Then we want wool and two beds. Okay, and then we want light gray bed and a normal gray bed. Done. Hi, Miss Robisco, how are you doing? <laughs> um, the dumb. So we got one of these, one of these. What are the other things you want? Builders party. So you we want black room. clay shingle slabs and black clay spruce shingles. Okay. Let me see if we have any clay around here. Do we have any clay? Clay spruce shingles, clay slabs, and black? No. Ink sacks? Some. Okay, um, at least all four and all those two. <laughs> People waiting to clear an ocean monument. To be fair, I would probably also wait to clear an ocean monument um, if it was for that. Let me see if we have any clay or anything in the in the warehouse. I could set that um, request up for our stone smelter. Um, do I have clay? Clay balls, some. Okay. Um, and bricks, 20. I'm going to... At least go with that. So we have the stone mason here. We can teach this, the pot recipe, flower pot, done, and then we go over to our stone smelter. <laughs> you told me that, yeah. Um, teach, uh, oh wait, I do need clay with me to teach that. Let me run back to the warehouse quick, quickly. The furnace recipes unfortunately do not work exactly like the other type of recipes they do actually need an instance of it um interesting i did write the the optifine guy on the on the optifine issues and he finally did reply <laughs> And I did tell him that it is very likely that Optifine is cancelling the right click. No! You're kidding me! Come on! You? What is this now? This darn killed my career? Don't believe it. That is disappointing to a level I can't believe. Play. Well, I can take some of those with me. That is very disappointing. I don't believe that my career just died of that. Darn nether mobs running over here. Thinking they can kill our citizens. Unbelievable. Ay ay ay. Okay. Teaching this over here. I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood. Okay. Yeah, I probably have to do that. Teach recipe. Play ball here, done. Okay, that we got done nicely. 
um the dumb okay i can also teach the probably charcoal teach charcoal recipe is probably a good idea too um now i have to go hunting for some ink from the ink sacks to see if we find some of those it's classically not the moment we need them they're not going to be in huge numbers around here anymore there are some over there let's see three of them that should work at least Come on. Swim there. Don't drop down. I want this. The other one. I did like them entering because they were some good guard training until now. But now that they called, killed one of my citizens, I'm kind of regretting that. It used to be a good guard training. Now it kind of... Can I find something nice here? Lure fishing rod. Going up here again. Oh, I'm seeing a drowned here. Oops. Die, drowned, die. They're relatively resistant, if you ask me. That one here I checked. Another one? Not on this one here. Maybe over here. Or around here. No? I gotta get up! Wow. Kinda, I, I always have kind of the drowning sensation myself physically and when I'm drowning in Minecraft it gives me a very bad sensation I do not like it is that here a chest that here is a chest okay okay up 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 done we made it so we did get two supply ships that's free stuff you know those supply ships they are free to paste even if you placed already one you get another one for free let us check that out if that works out nicely uh, medieval oak supply ship medieval spruce supply ship it doesn't fit really ours does it fit our colony style the spruce one looks a bit too viking for our colony if you ask me and the nordic one definitely looks to you i love that one I guess I could go with one of these. Um, the dumb over here. I do want it close to this island here. Oops, one up. Like this. Now let me see. I would love to have them kind of here in the in the general vicinity. I think that would make a nice look for of this part here of the colony. Mm. I do we want it a bit more outside, a bit more in this direction. 
Let me see how we're going to want that. I think that is fine. Maybe, maybe we go like with something like this. We really put it like here. Like this. Could look nice as well. Nah, that's way too much in the middle. I think like this in the middle looks actually neat. Seems like it's leaving here. No, fitting pool of water. We do have these blocks there that are one too high. I get, I get. This here. That should work now. Ta da! Let's see if we get anything useful on this ship. Jim to Jim. There are a bunch of vertical barrels that are going to be super useful for us. Bookshelves. Paper. I take the paper. I do take I do accept the bookshelves, I don't need them right now. Um We have more. Okay. Oh that's fine. I accept the stone. Accept the cobble as always. I do accept the food. Don't need the water bottles. Um, the dumb. The beds are definitely nice to have as well. Basic tools. Some more oak logs. Um, and I accept the hay balls definitely as well. Those are usually pain to get. And that's also probably a good strategy to go with on the server. To start our colony with a bunch of supply ships. To get started with a decent set of supplies. Uh, because then it is significantly easier to get started. Um, there's another entry. Let's sleep quickly in here in one of the quarters. Sleep, 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 sleep. Before our colony gets overrun, right? Um, done. Okay, I set my respawn point. <laughs> That's definitely. Oh, there are nice some some lanterns on here. Those are super expensive. I do enjoy the lanterns, and I definitely enjoy all the wool as well. Okay, so we jump. And we go back to our colony. Dump a few of the things. And yeah, everyone is mourning at the moment anyway. Dump a few of the things we got over there. Here. Some more ink sacks. Do I have any bricks with me? Not a lot. So I'm going to take a bit of that clay, put it over here and take a bunch of the rest of the clay to the warehouse at least. Uh, what is the other builder is working on? Library? What? You think I'm you not need strong enough? cobblestone I Watch see. Me. Okay. I'm going to cancel that and going to take a bunch of cobblestone to the warehouse. I think we are out of cobblestone. How is the miner? Do I do s I think we don't have any miner at the moment. It's kind of painful. Um, how much cobblestone do we have here? 191. Just put another two stacks over here. It's enough, at least, at, at least enough for now. Um, then we have everything here should be fine. Uh, I wanted to check for the miner. And I wanted to finish the other, the second gate here. That's why I had the other multi-block with me. I completely forgot that we were starting to set those up. Oops.
Um, we don't have that recipe here. On that server. Nope, no miner. That explains the lag of cobblestone for sure. But we don't have the, the recipe here. I'm strongly, I'm pretty sure about that. Only with netherrack and a pure daisy. Um, a crusher. And do stone. Not really satisfying either. Yeah. Maybe stone essence. There's not good another good way to do that then. Oh, I, okay. Ooh. Now we get the two multi three multi pistons. Uh, we got the gay the iron fence iron bars. Always forget how those are called. Um okay the rest rest we're equipped for. And one of the things we've usually been doing on the server is one of the things we have to stop doing. Because if we protect against the raid ourselves completely. Oh that this is bad. This is this is bad news. Okay, this is bad news. We are going to have to do this differently. There is not enough space to do that on the top. Okay. So we are going to have to make a sideways gate then. Okay. So we're going to put then, instead of putting it on the side, we put this on the top like that. This here, um, I need some cobblestone. We can put the cobblestone on the top of here and make it retract into here. Instead of going up, we make it retract into the side. That will work. I'm going to harvest some of these blocks quickly. We can have an entry. Then we do need the three blocks. To have like this. Dum de dum. And it would be then like this. Although, no, wait, wait. We don't want that to be like this. Hi, Lori. Yes, we have a late stream today. Since I had my my martial arts training right this time, I wasn't able to make it earlier. So we got a late stream today. And then we want, this is three blocks. One, two, three. And we want to prevent mob spawning in here. Not because it actually matters a lot, but because it's just annoying. Um, now the difficult part is, how are we going to trigger all of them? That is actually the, the difficult question now. Triggering the one in the middle is going to be the most difficult question. How are we going to do that? Do we want it? Yeah, okay. Even if it's in the bottom, like this. Triggering on the side. Triggering on the side might work. Let me test something, let me test something. I think we can make it retract from in, like from the bottom. That should work. Let me do just a repeater test. Get some redstone torches too. Then... Okay, so if we do it here in the bottom, there's a very important question. Because this block here is going to have a block on top. So we can have a repeater sitting here. So, still up and down, range 3, that's fine. The only question is, um, get the pickaxe, the 
only question is if we can trigger two for the price of one if we direct and not all three and not this middle one twice although that we could do with a simple redstone then um here we trigger this if we trigger this one and untrigger okay it triggered both of them so that is i would call success so on this side here I'm just going to need this going over here oh, no not stone and then under here wait i do want that's my pickaxe I do want to put a torch here in the middle and again to avoid mob spawning and then we can have this go in the middle come up here I can't have it in the middle because there is that's the walking floor that's the floor we're walking on that's the that's the problem I have basically um, now it didn't trigger this one. Yeah, I can only trigger that. The, the concern I'm having is if I trigger this one as well from the side, it's going to trigger the same in the middle again. But I think that is null. I think the it doesn't accept a second trigger within a short period of time. I think I disable that in order to avoid that it confuses itself. Okay. Now all of them Yay that worked. Okay, that's that's some good news. Um I just have to remove this one here too and this one here too like this. Then I can put the walkway over it, spruce planks. And the stripped spruce wood. Wait, wrong, wrong rotation. Um, stripped spruce wood, like this. Okay. Um, then the top. I can mine those again. We can put them like this and the top we can just make it like this. That should be fine. That should be just fine. Um the only thing we now need is a trigger. That's going to be live behind this here. Rup, rup, rup. Like this. Um, jumping. I want to jump out of this. Okay. Like this. Remove. Replace. Then we need one stone for a button. Does this work? Uh, for some reason, one of them didn't want to. That's bad news. What happened? Why didn't it work? That's weird. Now the other one reacted as well. Only one of them. Ah! Darn it, Ray. middle one is out of sync so middle one is still out of sync weird thing that happens now now I'm now I'm utterly confused, you could say. 
think I can at least close up this side. At least close up this side. Now why is the middle one so different? Okay, I let you walk through. Then I break you in the I know don't do this with me. Don't do this. Okay. Can I fall down here, please? This is just disappointing. <laughs> this is just bad luck. Okay. Then we break this one again. We place it here back. Then we mine another one over here. Uh, we place the cobble back. Put the stone button back. Now. You still. You're still choking with me, right? Um, I do think it's the double trigger thing that I talked about. I do think for some reason that might be the reason for it. What if I mine this? Take it. Place it now accordingly at the bottom. And then trigger. Okay. We're synced. It goes down. It works. Go up again. Yay! <laughs> we made it. We made it. Another one of these. Another one of these. What? What just happened? What just happened? I, t I place a block here. It doesn't touch anything. And you mess up stuff. Redstone. You're kidding me, right? Are you, aren't you kidding me, Redstone? Aren't you kidding me? When I place this wood here. Yeah, apparently that would trigger. Wait. I want the strip one. Okay. Now. There are some things that trigger redstone signals. I don't even know why. But it does. Okay. Now it works. I don't know what triggered it. I don't know why it triggered it. I would just say Mojang. Um, Mojang works in mysterious ways. I can help, I guess. Uh, but we got it working. Okay, we got our gates finished in all the places in our colonies. So that's a good thing for starters. Because now when there's a raid, we can just shut down all the gates at the necessary locations. And that's going to help us a lot. No, it doesn't need a lever. A button is fine. Um, I designed the multi pistons to be to be button compatible. They store their state basically. You can actually abuse them as single block memory cells in a redstone contraption. They're fairly expensive, but you can use them as memory cells. <laughs> Lever has a larger hitbox to it when panicked. <laughs> I'm, I always keep my cool. Okay, and I want a stack of this. And shingle, shingle slab, another one here, 
Okay. So now we got a lot of these. I'm just... Ah, wait. I gotta sleep first. Um... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I, I just a super panic. Pulse 200. I'm really bad at, at video games. When I used to play League of Legends, I was just panic clicking everything and I was like, I can't do this. And I got it to work. Um, another... 50 basically like play shingles. It doesn't have slabs. Do you Ouch. need anything? Black oh, carpet yeah. spruce button. So the spruce button are again at the mechanic, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, black carpet and black clay shingles. Seven, 47. I spent way too much time in that League of Legends game. Definitely way too much. Um, sprues, play shingles. There. Um, and sprues, planks. I mainly played it when I was around 22, 23. Uh, from around 20. When I stopped my MMP or G phase to around 23, when I got to know my girlfriend, I played a lot of League of Legends. Way too much, if you ask me. I made it up to gold 2, I think, or so. I was not so. I was not bad. Right, that's, I was not horrible. Yes. I was good at teamwork. And the moment I, you got me fed, uh, I was able to direct it nicely in the teamwork to have things going. Strategy and these kinds of things. I'm really bad at like games where you have to react really quickly because I get nervous and then hit all the buttons. Oak bookshelves, plain horizontal spruce. So those are the standard ones we want to teach, at least those to the sawmill. I only, I only enjoyed playing ranked, to be honest, because playing the casual games, people were just way, way more toxic than in ranked even. Plain spruce timber frame. Done. And in ranked, you at least had a chance to have somewhat motivated player without having in every second game someone being AFK or so. That's why I used to enjoy ranked. You had like a decent chance that people took things halfway serious. Tube. Um, do do do. There we go. What were you working on? Was it the library level two already? Yes, it was. So that's almost everything delivered. I guess the oak bookshelves Whoa, you don't this have. Looks fantastic. What's Plain next? Plain horizontal screws. Wasn't that what I taught? them and smooth stone slabs okay we need smooth stone and smooth stone slabs and oak bookshelves um, smooth stone so first we teach smooth stone and then we s teach the smooth stone slabs at the stone mason and that should be then provided automatically why oh, yeah, I do love how that one is coming together like with a lower oven and an upper oven there I do love how that is looking I do love that okay not getting sidetracked um smooth stone 
Okay, um, it's just putting a stone here then and then we go over here and teach the smooth stone slabs to the stone mason Right teach Smooth stone slabs out of st Okay, so we got that And then I'm going to check if we have any books Here and we definitely need a bunch of more workers so we don't have that one is the one that died but i want to go in the warehouse not in the career um do we have leather 19 do we have books six not very satisfying um what did i want to check yeah i wanted to check on the books um then we go here and we do have to get yeah I do have books as well I do have some books here in storage as far as I remember but there are on the and on the <laughs> ninja you got books I think it's hard a bit difficult to get them sent over here um, I do have some books here I believe not a lot Um, do we have oak? Oak bookshelf. Let's go on the ship quickly and get the remaining ones there then. <laughs> the HL. They do ship here. So that, that might work. That might actually work. <laughs> Although I don't know where the server is situated. That might be the... The main problem of that okay but we got at least a few bookshelves here um, I definitely do need a plantation urgently I need a plantation and urgently I also need the a cowboy yeah you, you can try the problem is the cost of shipping a few hundred a bunch of books via DHL a book already is like five euros um, oh, bookshelves no it's another two okay at least the old bookshelves we got always kind of makes me afraid when they run around like this plain horizontal that one now requested. Faster than no. any man. No. Plane horizontal. Let me check at the sawmill. Wasn't it the plane horizontal screws? No, that's the other one. Darn it. I gotta do them myself then. If anything, I'm going to eventually add a second sawmill only for those recipes. Um, down gated left right right left plane there we go here I take those two fine okay we got the that one is filled let's dump the, the stuff we just got here um, then we do want to get a cowboy we do need a cowboy urgently. We need a raw, some raw beef. Tell me we have some raw beef. There we go. One raw beef. Like this. Um, another plank. Cow hand. Um, and plantation. We need a cactus. So both of them we want one for paper and one for the the cow herd for the cowboy cow hand oh, what the best word I forgot my build tool there I'm not sure if I finished talking earlier that the optifine guy 
answered me and I think I gave him now a more concrete uh, hint where the problem is. The fact that he answered me on Discord might mean there is a decent chance that he is motivated to fixing it. That would be awesome. Okay, let me check out how those look like. Now that's the wrong one. Medieval screws. That looks like this. How does the plantation look like? So they all fit really perfectly out here, I see. So that's a good thing. Now the plantation... I'm wondering if that might look great over here. Let me see. What does it look like on level 5? No. Yay! The citizen level 3 finished. We got another citizen that another... Oh wait, let me run there quickly before a child is born. Before they reproduce quicker than you can say a really short word. Um... Run, Ray, run. I can do this. I can do this. Um, redstone. Run, run. I can do this. Some One of you wants redstone, what right? Is yes. It? We got it. Oh. Hallelujah. Am I not good enough? Uh, sorry. For you? Huh? And you. Let's see. If you say so. You're hungry. Let's run to the miner quickly and get him the sign to the miner. But we finally got a miner again. Ah, yeah, that has been some time or a career now. Be miner better. Let's see if we can assign him to the miner quickly. He did get assigned to the miner. That's great. Okay. The m most of the miner stuff should be up. Should be set up. Touch it. I don't have to do anything. At most provides some cobblestone. We got compostables requested here. I think I can cancel these. The library. Got a pickaxe at the miner. And a lot of feathers. None of the cancels here is working, apparently. So that run quickly over there the composter and cancel because we did some update that fixed things I'll take care of it yeah so those are somewhat stuck tasks okay that was the wrong colony <laughs> so verge log is requested to make for sure to make um, birch planks and smeltable ore so that we are fine at the moment um, then we want to set up this stuff okay um, I do want to set one up probably around against the wall here I take away this that would be unfortunate but let's, let's check out how that one looks like again because this little tower here I kinda don't want it like this in front if anything then we do something like this right here hmm I think I'm going to go with putting it Putting it does it fit here maybe? Might might fit. It might actually fit. So let's see. It is overlapping. Now it's not overlapping with that one anymore. 
still overlapping strongly here. And then I need to go at least until here. Yeah, that would be in the middle of the lake here. Nah. Um, so we want that then here. It's a relatively long building. I think that would fit nicely in this area here. In between the two lakes. I think that would fit pretty neatly. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. And then we want the cow hand, cow's hand as well. How big is that one? Is that one again relatively long? Or is that more like quadratic ish? Yeah, it does overlap here. Is it possible to make a plus sign with a dynamic claim? Yes, that is entirely possible. Not a problem at all. You can make a plus sign like that. Uh, that would be here. That would overlap with the fields. Mm, the dupe. I think we're going to have to put that one behind the farmer here. I think like this is actually a pretty neat thing. I have to go with this. Okay. Then I have to go sleep in game again quickly. Yes. Yes, that would make five districts districts possible. We could have a center district and then four outer districts. Sleep quickly. Uh, what did Builder Dylan start at? Parker. Didn't start anything new yet. Okay. Someone here <coughs> seems to be sick. What is it? Can you just tell me what kind of fuel to use in the furnace? Yeah. What's your job? Stone smelter has no fuel recipe. That is disappointing. Good that good that I saw this message. Else, probably she would have never delivered that that stone. Okay. So we accept screw. Uh, first of all, always coal, and then screws logs. Should be fine. Um, then I'm going to start other citizen hut upgrades. You're sick, right? Gonna put a roof yes. over that. You're walking to the hospital, so it's not a problem. Then we start. We have those two on level three, and we go up here. Uh, what you don't have in your head, you need in your legs. So we're going to run around here and going to click upgrade. And I think the one around the corner here to level three. And the other one too. Oops. Did forget that I made this little nerd pole. Hideous. Just hideous. So, also going to click upgrade on this already. So that is going to make it one further here, right? Definitely have to fix that message. That is kind of confusing. Okay. 
Yeah, that one overlaps even until here. But I hope I hope it's going to be fine. Do you have any tips for new colonies? Um for me number one tip get more than one builder. I think that's always a great tip. How to fix what, Irish Chef? Um, I think getting more than one builder is one of the most useful if tips there is. So. Um, the next tip would then be get yourself um, a fisherman early on, and they are easy way for food production. Ah, uh, that, that's... I have to fix that myself in the code. It's... it's definitely called too often. Um. <laughs> then... Another tip for new colonies is usually to get a resource scroll for each of your builders. That's going to prevent a lot of headache. Then Lumberjack is probably your most important production worker. Much more important than a miner. Made it. Then I do have to remember where I placed here. Build option build. That's one of the next things I want. We need more guards. I'm going to get all of these here, cut down while I'm on it. Good. Getting all those trees down here. I know it's horrible. Deforestation is a serious problem. But in Minecraft it's not very problematic yet. We have a lot of forest and trees grow very quickly. Um, then get some cobblestone. Fix up this path here for sure. Whoa. Now, what? Yeah, cut the tree, plant a tree. You can't do this. The thing is you can't do this if you're cutting down hundreds of trees that are hundreds of years old. Because those are like super important for the infrastructure of the forest. So you should usually like don't cut everything down. Leave the oldest trees in place. Um, did I? Yeah. Hmm? And just cut down the middle age and leave a bunch of the very old trees. And definitely don't cut down a rainforest. Because the amount of other things, plants and animals and biodiversity that you're killing, even if you would replant parts of it, is just way too valuable. The entire world and egg ecosystem. Um, oops. Hurt. I'm getting some more. I'm out of cobblestone again. Don't believe it. Always, always out of cobblestone. Yeah, let's dump some things in the warehouse. The thing is, in a rainforest, a natural fire 
is extremely unlikely unless no it actually is extremely unlikely in a rainforest a natural fire uh, dumpy dump then we get a bunch of pickaxes again and go mining go mining But, yeah. Yeah, unlikely and short lived. Exactly. But, yeah. Humanity is one of those few species that are actually in their collective too stupid to deserve existing. <laughs> I like to say very often, humanity itself, we put ourselves over monkeys, etc. But actually we're, we're not. It's more that we have a bunch of very smart scientists that brought us where we are nowadays. And most of the stuff we do actually is destroy stuff our scientists came up with. <laughs> I mean, imagine... <laughs> yeah. A actually, monkeys are way too cute. We're really more like chimpanzees, definitely. Super aggressive, violent species. But definitely. There's so many halves I've mined through here already. Yay! We got another one. That one is becoming a career already. Feeling that. I mean, just the fact of... If now you took a hundred random people and threw them on a on a random planet without any of the infrastructure we have they would go straight back to the stone age straight back hi garfield how are you doing you're just straight back to the stone age living in caverns <laughs> Let's consider we just take enough, yeah, yeah, most likely, we have to take a lot of random groups to make sure that one of them survives. <laughs> You're a highly advanced dirt hut builder. <laughs> The problem is the lack of physics in Minecraft, right? You're like, why is this dirt falling apart? Like, there is this anime, not sure if someone watched this already, which is called Dr. Stone. Uh, where, like, yeah, Dr. Stone, exactly. It's a great show. I, I I did enjoy the few episode uh, the episodes I saw, and it gives us a pretty a pretty good idea how difficult all of this stuff is, and that really I would go as far to say that I don't think that there are a lot of people on our planet that can ta can take that. Then can that can pull off something like that. Like it's because we are like a highly specialized society. So unless you have a geologist, it's very unlikely that anyone knows how to handle that stuff. Yeah. 
I did hear that the season 2 should be this year. I'm kinda psyched for it as well. But in general we would be kinda bronzy age probably. But even bronzy age like I don't like I don't know. I'm I'm not useful for society if, you, if I don't have a computer to code for with. I'm really not. I, I don't know. I couldn't get iron. Like I know the like reddish sand. Maybe I could get yourself like could get a few things going to get temperature high enough maybe for iron maybe ish. But besides that Yeah, it would be a general problem solving, I guess I could apply, definitely, but that would take a long time to get things done, like collecting materials, getting ores and these kinds of things, it's very difficult, so to get, st to get started, like, we would definitely not be any way in a modern age within this a lifetime society for creative anachronism what is that i've never heard of that Am I out of pickaxes again? And then I'm back. Then I'm going back. I'm not going to make another set of pickaxes then. There's some iron here. Take my good pickaxe for that iron. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, John. Ah, medieval and renaissance recreation groups. Yes. Those group, those groups, we're lo uh, those groups would probably be a few of the most prepared ones. Like or ex now or, or extraction. The d most difficult problem is probably to get a mine going, or something like that, to reach these ores we need, etc. But e but even most of these groups. I imagine only do more the combat things and maybe weapons etc. Do they actually do stuff like machines and ores and the actual extracting etc. of these kinds of things? Yeah, exactly. Identif like identifying what is needed, identifying uh, places where you could open a mine and all these kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah, but they don't work, they still don't work with ore extraction, right? The maximum they would do is only the serious cosplayers, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, the point stands, it's like only very few selective humans on this planet. It could take us some decent steps in the direction of modern age. Most of us would just be like, Okay, we can got go somewhere in the direction of what the Romans were able to do, like, but that's it, it's like mi Middle Ages, most of us would be four, kinda. Yeah, I would say it would need at least three generations to get somewhat something set up. Um, yeah, besides it's like one of the other big problems it's like a lot of the things we have nowadays are things that took 
thousands of years to to get in that state, right? Like for example Okay, Garfield, let's see around like if we see like the not e not even taking the animal agriculture because that's cruel anyway, but they're having fun here, I see. But like the wheat or fruit, the vegetables we plant are like highly specialized plants that we were using for thousands of years to get them in the productive state they're in nowadays, right? Just doing it with wild fruit and wild other things to get on a decent uh, food production level would be insanely difficult. Yeah, basic meds. Um, then you need, again, very specialized people that are able to see certain herbs, etc. at least. I mean, penicillin... Yeah, that would not be the most difficult one to get, I would say. Trying to get some random mushrooms going. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> just making sure people clean their head. I mean, it's it's fairly difficult to just people get people to wear masks and wash their hands at the moment. So <laughs> I don't have too high hopes to get people to get more complex things and a society organized from scratch, right? You only need a hammer to need and a bunch of things again. Is the new house. Nothing for me now. I need to leave you. Don't tell me. Don't don't talk about making mine colonies from scratch because I already made mine colonies from scratch once. <laughs> Uh, this is already the second iteration of mine colonies. But yes, I already... It's like it's much easier if you have existing stuff to hook, hook into and then start uh, fixing at individual parts and improving. Because that's what science is nowadays, right? You take something that's already halfway decent and you improve on it. To be fair, I, d I think, yeah, I think making Minecraft from scratch would potentially be not difficult at all. Like there's a lot of things you could just scrap for just for starters, just take the more simple mechanics. I think you give me a month and I make uh, a Minecraft clone in uh, in some kind of Unreal Engine or so, so and something like that. It's much. I'm a hundred percent sure that fixing Minecraft is much more difficult than than making a new one from scratch. To be honest. If I would remake Java, I would probably make it in C sharp. Like I, I like Java, but I would make it in C sharp. Um, so how the work? I know that Bedrock is in in C sharp as well, but as far as I know, Bedrock is just just as badly done as Java edition. They have some improvements, but the core design ideas are just as bad as it in the Java edition. So that is not a real improvement. They got a language that has a bit more features and allows you to do th some more lower level things. Yeah, that's Winter Medieval. 
Mm, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think the new pocket edition was built on on bedrock. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But as far as I know, the C sharp version is not a whole lot better. As far as I know, it's better in terms of the the rendering and these kinds of things, the graphical stuff. But the other core concepts, it's just as bad. Yeah, probably. I think they did like the rendering, they probably redid. And some few small things they redid. But most of it is probably more of a, a port with a few less hacky things, I would say. Yeah, I do. They do. I do enjoy this uh, this mid, uh, this texture pack. It fits very well with mine colonies. I have to say. Um, the dumb. The most hacky code. I'm not entirely sure. All of it is just a, a great piece of hack, hacked together stuff for me. Um, I would definitely, I would say that potentially the worst part of the code, which probably uh, is the AI stuff, the B team is already heavily planning. Yes, I, I do enjoy the new raid bars, definitely. Um, yes, definitely. And it also is quite useful because it gives you the direction without having to repeatedly check in a chat. Did I break this so badly? I did. Um, but I would say in general the AI stuff is just like, it seems like teaching my sister how to do Java coding and ask her to, you have 24 hours to code a zombie, do this. There are no limitations on performance or intelligence of the mob, just do it. Yeah, it's still broken from Rorex visit, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Let me see if I can go on the other side and fix it a little bit together. Rorex broke it. Yay! The library level 2 is finished. I do have to turn off the library assignment though. I'm a bit concerned that we have people at the moment in the library. That opened it halfway, so it went all the way over here. Let's see if we can like, oh that's too much. Find those down here quickly. Oh I just love, absolutely I love windows blocks to react to the signal I'm giving. That's not how this is supposed to work. Okay. So now this is supposed to be all on this side. Let's see if we can get this to work. Then here. Okay. No, I didn't break it. Rorex clicked the wrong button. I have to, I do have to, I, 
I'm I was too lazy to be honest. I come on again. You triggered yourself. I God darn it. I come on Minecraft. Okay, and other time I fixed this. At the moment it's at least looking halfway recently again. And protecting. I also used the strongest pickaxe I had, might have not been the smartest choice. Okay. This one here uh, is I could help you still with waiting for the request system deliveries. Let's check if we have anyone assigned in the library because we shouldn't. Those are just wasted spots at the moment. I think it, it looks like we have someone in here working. Unless it's a guard. <sighs> yeah. I thought so. Very end. Of course. If, if, you, if you say so. You shouldn't be working here in the library. Um, do I have the plantation unlocked already? That's actually the question I'm having right now. Technology? No, I don't have the plantation unlocked yet. And I do have too many researches in progress already. Where are they in progress? Okay, they're almost finished at least. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to fix those doors. Better. <laughs> Okay, um, next step, repairing that axe of mine. At the tool station. Yeah, it, it kind of it kind of was triggering my OCD as well, but at the same time, my ADHD was like, no, this is just too too much of a boring task. Um, the tool station here. Where is that? Do we have honing? No, no honing. Um, then repair. Birch. Birch planks, I think. Um, a tier 1x. Math. Finished. Does my bow have another honing available, by the way? No. Okay. I can bring that birch wood to the... To this, um, what do we have here? Only birch logs? So let's bring those birch logs to the warehouse. Birch logs, more cobblestone. Um, then we do a quick sword. That looks much better already. Then we can make a bunch more of those shingles. Those black ones, we know they're going to need in a bit. Um, de dum. Black. Have a bunch of them. Do not have a lot of black dye. I think how much was it? Or the slabs at least. Another sixteen we need of these at least. Um ink. Oh wow, we, that is not a lot of ink sacks we have. And welcome Scorpion to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, shingle, 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 shingle. There we go. Yeah, we do need walls, definitely. I do suggest adding walls as early as possible. 
Um, I think I can eat. Hi, Kelly. How are you doing? And then I get some more food at the at the restaurant. We check how how we are on food at the restaurant, by the way. I did stop the yeah. Do we do still have a lot of potatoes? So that so we are still fine for some time. Baked potatoes, all the baked potatoes I rake and need. And we can see if we can hire. Did we hire another delivery career yet? We didn't because that was manual. Okay, Varen, Varen. How would I? How would I pronounce the accent on the name? English. Probably a bit more an accent on it. Varen. No, that's not Varen. Probably when it has an accent, it most more likely has an intonation on that syllable yeah the run the run in France that one needed all the clay shingles Are you kidding me we're both working on a citizen mm. hut both are working on a citizen hut, so I do need urgently all of that squid. <laughs> squid hunting. I can see a bunch in the bay in front of our colony this time. They're a little bit closer this time. You. Four. You. I'm sorry. In this game, Notch doesn't like animals. Um, and unfortunately, he makes us kill animals for stupid reasons. Okay. Gonna be squidding me. <laughs> I think that's all. This experience. I believe experience is fine. It's 12. That's not so bad. I can see a bunch more squids over there. I was thinking to myself, I think it would be really interesting if games would be a little bit more realistic with the animal products because actual actually animal products are probably like the last thing you want because they're like super high maintenance and very low storage time and these kinds of things like okay you get a deer down but that deer meat is going to be much less time decent to eat compared to all most of the nuts or fruits or vegetables or beans etc you can get it would be interesting to show how actually difficult these things are another one of these I don't know and I can see more here on the map let's get yeah, I mean you can put it in in salt and then reduce the nutrition factor and add a high blood high blood pressure factor to it because of the amount of salt you need to make it somewhat durable. Hmm. But I mean, it's it's like, it would be very interesting to have it like, fully realistic. I mean, like if you put animals in two small areas, you're going to have high uh, infection rates between the animals. So either you fill them up with antibiotics until the head, or you give them a really big pasture, because else they're going to die and you're going to die. So 
so if if, if things were like in the re in real life that that would be interesting yeah they are dying out of world however what i noticed is that they are x0 and set and z0 so that is interesting to know because they shouldn't be around zero 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 so something puts them to zero 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 i think that is probably a good starting point to start investigating clay spruce shingles we need a lot of these no not oak spruce Jingle, jingle bells, jingle bells, then get a bunch of these here over there, then the black dye, one, two, three, and then shingles themselves, that's still not enough, okay. A bad teleport should should put a roof over even that. a bad teleport shouldn't take them that outlandish far away. Kinda. That's my concern hey, with it. Even started. a da bad teleport shouldn't do that so strongly. I mean, if it was a bad teleport, it would affect all the citizens, even ours. But it isn't. So I wouldn't say it's a bad teleport. There's something else the citizens have, and the visitors don't, that causes this. Can make it out of squid milk. Interesting. Yeah, black dye should be should be possible to derive from other means, definitely. If you say so. Could be that would be an inter maybe an interesting recipe, custom recipe we could add to the to the dye worker, be able to get black dye out of charcoal or coal. Might be an interesting addition. Um, I do love how these uh, this area of the colony is coming along. So I have this here for a potential worker. Yeah, that, that's what that's what I thought. With milk. And squid milk gives me three black dye. That that would be nice. If I was able to get that. Let me see, do I have any buckets on me? No buckets. Let me get some buckets. I do should have some around here. Yeah, that that's going to be the difficult part of it, I guess. Get a bucket. And let's see if if that works somehow. Can I cannot imagine it not clicking the water, because in Minecraft clicking stuff kinda is not handled very gracefully either. Maybe, maybe just maybe. Once it worked, it did work. See this? Flag die. Another one. Wait, don't tell me there's not even a 
No. Water bucket, no. Oh wow. This This is just good. This is just an epic way to get all the black dye we need. I'm going to now literally milk this to the finest. <laughs> there's not there's not even a cooldown on this. Give me all the milk you have, little squid. Hey, milking you is better than killing you, don't you think? So, <laughs> squid milking worker, chip it. <laughs> Well, if anything black, I would make the black dye from, from charcoal or coal. I think... Uh, this is super hacky, right? That is kind of like... Not even a cooldown on the squid or something like this. And just infinitely right-click a squid for squid milk. Get your bucket bag, no risk. Yeah, they're not mo mammals, so it's probably not squid milk, would be more like squid extract and you're like squeezing them like milking. Still kind of milking, but you're not getting squid milk, right? Okay, so we got all the black dye we need for a while, so that is just great. And we can get more of the shingle spruce clay spruce shingle clay spruce shingle then the flag thy and the clay spruce shingle and we get us a few of these <laughs> yeah, that, that's why squid squids are actually there. Actually, there is no octopus. All of them are squids, but some some of them got squeezed to get um, black dye out of them, and some didn't. That's the entire story behind it. I love. I told you first, <coughs> and you heard it on the internet, so it must be right. I think that's how it works. What shall I do today? Some guy on the internet said it, so it must be right. Ouch. Hit my Still got again. all these requests open. Polished andesites is none of them, though. Let me teach polished andesite to our... Yeah. The ink as a defense is, is a mechanism to cloud the area around them, right? Um, and yes, it is absolutely hideous against animal rights. And I'm absolutely against it. If anyone in the real world would do that, I would be absolutely against that. And I would be in favor of putting laws up against this. Similarly as I'm against as artificially impregnating cows or raping them. Uh, so just that we can drink milk that we shouldn't drink at all because it's not healthy at all for us. And welcome B. B. Tesla. Vitaslav, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Even though I probably mispronounced that by around 500 facets. Okay, we're still waiting. Everyone is waiting. 
There's not no. a place my family will live do really, here. I do really feel bad for this poor squid. Um, getting some cobblestone. What was this? Cobble. How do I make those half slabs? Vertical slabs, okay. No, the fact that milk is healthy is not backed up by science. Milk is only for babies. There's no need for us to drink milk. There is nothing in milk we can't get in otherwise. And actually the things that are, a bunch of the things are, that are in the milk like high saturated fat for example, which is really bad. Um, and a bunch of other things that are also not good at all for us. And a bunch of other things in the milk that even even though there is additional calcium added stops us from absorbing calcium. Milk in general is like lactose is one of the things, but there are other, there are a lot of things in milk that not only we do not need, but they're actually bad for us. Yes, there is that stuff as well, but why should you take like Ah, but they're using case casein as well. From the, from the cow, or is that uh, artificial casein that they're creating? But even then, why shouldn't you just take oat milk or soy milk that is artificial? Uh, but then, then they can probably also control the amount of uh, saturated fats etc that are in the milk that probably make it a decent upgrade compared to the cow's milk we get but yes fortunately science is advancing and it's kind of making the animal slavery uh, more and more redundant, just cruel and unnecessary. And nowadays there are a bunch of cheese alternatives that don't need any animal products. Like the vegan cheese we use for our pizza or for our hamburgers. Like we had hamburgers today. Um... No, it's like we had hamburgers today and put uh, um, vegan, what is the, cheddar on top of it. I don't know, there's no difference compared to normal cheese. Like, if you like to eat cheese, cheese like in your hand, I guess those cheese are like not, like pure cheese. Not on a sandwich and not on a pizza or on the hot dog, on the hamburger. I do see there is a difference. But there are a bunch of really delicious um, nut-based camemberts as well, for example, already. But in general, yes. I wouldn't eat that cheese pure. Definitely not. But on a sandwich, on the hamburger, on the pizza, there's no difference whatsoever. Really? They, they're buying the wrong <sighs> one, then. There's a lot of bad ones. And if you eat them pure, they're not good. But on a sandwich, on a pizza, there's no difference. At least those that we are buying are here. But I do, I heard a lot that there's a lot of bad one as well. But the brands we're getting here in, in Lisbon at least, they're quite delicious. What is it? Uh, 
him. That one is now yes, requesting it as well. That should be going fine. And this okay, one here. Let's get started. Uh, we, they also need gray shingles. Gray clay shingle slab. Ah, we don't have andesite in the gray clay shingle slab. So also need shingle slab. Do we have any gray? No. Do we need black? And we need white. We don't have, so we need bone meal. Yeah, but the most the uh, the worst thing for diabetics is like the is like no, the, not sure how it was, but the cause of diabetics is quite often the um. Uh, the high saturated fat levels because it avoids the absorption of the sh of the sugars but there are a lot of alternatives that are uh, quite low in carbs as well like for example we make black bean burgers at home they're like super delicious mega cheap high in super high in protein and low in carbs But a bunch of these um, alternatives, they use Satan. Satan, that is. Um, so those use the wheat alternatives. That's why those the meat from them is usually... Yeah, th th it's not bad, but I think those are usually for the people who have like Lutein problems or something like that. Not so great. But yeah, I think the best meat alternatives are those you make at home. Like we make our black bean burger and some mush mushroom burgers that are just amazing and super healthy and low on carbs. But it's al also always it depends if you make it with. Uh, Whole wheat carbs, those are also not a problem, right? It's more the very processed ones that are really bad than for the people that have diabetics. Yeah, I do think that there are a lot of people that are not gluten intolerant and are babbling about it. I'm definitely, I definitely think that. I do think there are a bunch of people who actually have it. But I also think that for a bunch of people it's actually just a, a trend. And the b bad thing is avoiding that gluten is actually good for people that don't have a problem with it. So avoiding it is kind of hurting yourself when you uh, when you actually don't have to avoid it. Yeah, there are d a bunch of different things. Like I used to think I was lactose intolerant. But actually, I used to be milk protein intolerant. Although the result was relatively similar. <laughs> but it allowed me to consume a few cheese products without having big problems. But nowadays, I don't really care anymore. Uh, I eat all the different vegan alternatives. Even though they're a bit more pricey. I'm like the amount I'm of money I'm saving on 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 beef and meat is is enormous. 
Yeah, there's a lot of made. They put a lot of egg, etc. in there, yes. And... Like... Like I said, a black bean burger made at home is like so enormously cheap. If I would buy the some decent meat for that, the decent beef for that, that would be so much more expensive. So what I save on the meat, I invest in vegan cheese. Yeah, you just take a whole wheat bread. There's like a ton of amazing whole wheat bread. Uh, I have a nice piece of whole wheat bread in the morning as well. Trying to take the whole food plant-based diet. <laughs> Avoiding all the cheap processed foods. What do I have to say? Here and there, when I make dal and some naan bread, send me some naan. I also use normal wheat flour. Because the whole wheat flour ones usually don't turn out very well for me. I don't know how why, but I can't get whole wheat flour whole wheat stuff to grow in to grow. I don't know why. The normal wheat st flour stuff grows perfectly for me. The whole wheat stuff for me just stays as thin as I rolled it. <laughs> Always just a sad look. Um, the dumb. So, let's see what he can't get. Maybe all of, maybe I most of this. Fresh smell of this timber. here is the polished andesite you should now get. The rest here is still in delivery. That's funny because all those that I'm getting here, they are, they melt amazingly. Like, like my girlfriend likes to say, eating the cheese like that is not very great. But if you melt it, it first of all it melts amazingly. I have to to share a screenshot. I would I should have made a screenshot of the burger today. It just looks like it really melted like a real cheddar would. It really melted amazingly. And then when it's melted, then the, the flavor is really amazing. But it does melt really great. But it's a European brand as far as I know. Maybe they're not available there yet. But their cheese, we really enjoy their cheese. Yeah, I think one. I think there's a big advantage uh, as the European vegans have over the Americans, because in in the U.S. in Canada, there's like a lot of time. <laughs> I think it's there's a lot of time you have those vegan products in in Canada and the U.S. So you have a lot of vegan cheese and vegan uh, alternative products that were made 10 20 years ago and that got a fair market share now which is making it more difficult for new alternatives to enter of people who actually want to recreate the actual product uh, while in europe a lot of these products were not available so it was easier to enter the market i would maybe speculate about which made it really much easier to get like, okay, there's like much more small competition to making a tasty cheese. It's like always this this problem of capitalism, right? You got like some really powerful companies, even if they have really shitty products like Nestle or something like that, it's really difficult to beat them at their game just because they got too much money in advertisement and deals, backdoor deals with companies. While if it's something like little, like the best Indian place in town or something like that, 
there's like I would say like more competition in these in the small business realm and they're not really big businesses so it's easier to have like the real sense the real idea behind capitalism working yeah I, i've one of the things i've not eaten so far are vegan chicken alternatives here at lidl you have that in the u.s as well their vegan meat is super amazing it's super delicious and the the burger we made today was actually of their meat because we were too lazy to make the black bean meat this week but chicken alternatives the only thing i tried so far was jackfruit have you ever tried jackfruit john so let's see we need a gray bed and more gray shingle slabs but these finished because check fruit is super amazing because it is kind of kind of like chicken it doesn't have a lot of taste but it has um high dogs games it's fine it's good it's going pretty good it's going pretty good uh it's kind of like chicken in from the consistency and at the same time it's kind of like chicken from from how you work it right it it really accepts the taste really easily of course not for like a chicken steak but more like a chicken you would uh, like Maybe if you bread it or something like this. Check fruit. I'm talking about check fruit. Ah. It was a gray bad, wasn't it? Yes. Oh no, I want another one. Two gray bats. And check fruit is really amazing in in this regard because it really allows you to to get some great taste out of it. I use I used it already for for stroganoff, for example, quite a a bit, and for like a Brazilian dish they have. I used it also for that, where it worked really nicely too. I can use the X button. Thanks. I'm going to do this yes. the next time. But it works really great over my head. for a bunch of chicken products. Unfortunately, here in Portugal, it's a little bit difficult to get. You only get like Czech fruit already cooked in a glass and a little bit expensive. So we don't do that so, so often. And we kind of, the recipe we prepared is kind of, we used some potato um, base, kind of put the check fruit inside. Yeah, it's kind of can like it's in glass, but it's kind of like canned as well. And we put that in potato and then we fry it. Yeah, I know it's not, it's not super, it's not healthy at all. We fry it in a lot of oil and then eat it. It's like kind of breaded um, potato with a core of jackfruit that was nicely fried, but it's it's delicious. Um, I want compost. Oh, 18. It's exactly what I need. I need 16. Um, I, I'm from from Germany, actually. But I lived a bunch of years in Brazil, and I'm currently living in, in Portugal. Okay, research. So yeah, our, our, our meat, our meal plan is like super mixed. We have a bunch of Indian food in it. 
um, a bunch of just we eat a lot of lentils, bean and beans and then lentil and bean patties as well I think I have a slight Germanic accent as well at least in some words Oh wow, it's a bunch of black and a bunch of gray ones too. A slight Germanic accent. From a Germanic country. Uh, we need more magic mods. On this server there is a bunch of magic mods. There is a if you count Botania as an, a magic mod, but I think there's a bunch. There's there's this other magic mod of gigahertz on the server as well. That I ha I haven't tried out any of these, and there is the mystical seeds, which I would definitely classify as a magic mod. There's the like this mod here. What is it? Ah. Elements of power. I'm not from Bavaria. I'm from Swavia. Actually, I think it's. What? I think you write it like that in, in English. In German, you would say. That one. We, we kind of take this serious because we are like competing with each other. We produce the better cars. <laughs> Just kidding. Not that I care about these kinds of things. <laughs> yeah, we're still neighbors. <laughs> yeah it, it's it's like there is a little bit of a competition between i would say between uh, bavaria that's producing bmw and audi audi and uh schwaben that produce porsche and mercedes it's like you definitely got better chocolate than we do in Germany but I wonder if you got better chocolate than than Swiss is your chocolate better than Swiss chocolate I've not eaten an awful lot Bel Belgian Belgian chocolate yet I have to say <laughs> you got the better pizza. You've never eaten just Swiss chocolate, never eaten lint. Or Milka is kind of half half German. Um yes, I wanted actually to log off. It's kind of late. It's after midnight already. I got a bunch of things to do. Um Thanks everyone for tuning in today. Bagels. <laughs> uh, thanks for everyone for tuning in today. We did get a bunch of progress done. Oh, we're two hours live. Didn't feel like it. Thanks everyone for engaging in the chat with us. To be honest. Um, we are going to be online. No need to be sad. We are going to be online tomorrow in around... 21 hours from now we're going to be online again um then you can talk about your botania easter egg just tune in in 21 hours from now um we got two citizen huts to level three and i got two other ones here being upgraded at the moment our two builders here and here we finished the library behind and on the other side here we got a 
um, plantation over here we can see and the cow hand also placed um i hope you enjoyed today's episode don't forget to hit the follow button to be updated over our upcoming streams if you want to support the mod, mod development of mine colonies actually which is the mod i'm one of the developers of you should subscribe or even become a patreon at the moment we have a nice patreon competition going that's going to start on saturday where we're going to play on a dedicated server together with our patreons and i'm going to compete with them against them it's going to be quite interesting um i hope you're going to join in tomorrow good night everyone have a good one and see you tomorrow Ciao, ciao.